So today we are going to make a camp, camping, and we are going to make the uh, food from sea products. Actually, we have uh, fish and uh, shrimps. We have garfish and one kind of tiger shrimp or something like that. I'm not sure about the species, but first of all, we need the sticks. So we are going to make the sticks from this wooden branches oh this one is breaks down we need another one this one looks good so we need to take off all these little branches and skin of the wood we have a nice camping camping knife There you go. I think it's a proper length. Yeah, absolutely. It's more than enough. So, the stick for roast the fish on the charcoal can be made various of trees. For example, this one is a alnus tree, alnus barbata. But it doesn't really matter so the main thing is you don't need to choose a paint trees because paint trees has a special um, material in the wood in the branches which is burning easily and produces kind of very strong smell which is not good for for taste but this one is a foliage tree and it's it's gonna be good it's gonna be work so same time we made the fire on this little area so this is nice fire place made by these stones around so we are waiting now to um, make a actually charcoal without flame because the flame and smoke is not good for um, shrimps or fish Whenever you're roasting kind of meat or everything, you need to have just a clean charcoal. So guys, we have our sea products here. So one of them is a this nice guy. It's garfish and shrimps and kind of the bulky, bulky looking nice fish. So we are going to make nice food on the... So now we are adding the cornbread and the fish. The cornbread helps the fish to keep it because we don't need all these things to melt it down on the charcoal. So cornbread protects the flesh. Salt as much as you want. So it depends on your taste, how much you want to use on your food. We 
because I guess Zura likes more salty food, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is... Paprika. Yeah. Maybe guys you can try some other stuff to add on it. So this time we choose these three different things. So this is the almost the final process. We need to put all these things on the charcoal. Nice so one one good thing is like All this smoke makes good taste and nice aromat for the fish, even for other kind of flesh. So guys, our fish and shrimps are already cooked and we are going to put all this thing in the hamburger. There you go, it looks really interesting. Our hamburgers are re ready. The only thing is we need to just taste it. Zura, you can go for it. You. Me? Okay. Mm. It's really delicious, guys. No. 
Was this? Yeah. You can try this one. Mm. How it is? <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>